Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be my current reading concoction. So y'all, I thought my last video, my review video is going to be my last video for today, but I say, hey, why not do my current reading concoctions? So you guys can see what I'm currently reading or what I'm about to read pretty much because I'm starting that today. So basically the first book that I am currently reading is Bad Girl Gone by Temple Matthews. And then this book comes out August 8th. I got this from NetGalley and I got this in a fucking giveaway so that's why I have the, the, the physical copy. And I'm going to read this one first because it's the shorter one so I can get through this faster since I have been reading like long books lately. But um, I did read a bunch of graphic novels after Anna Darkin so I should be good. I should be set to go. Basically this book is about this girl named Echo Stone. She wakes up in a cold sweat in a dark room and she doesn't know how she got there. But she soon finds out that she's in Middle House, which is an orphanage with um, troubled kids. But the problem with all this is the fact that she's not an orphan. She has parents. She has a father and she has a mother. So she's trying to figure out why the hell she is here. She tries telling everyone this, but of course no one listens to her because obviously you're here. That must mean you don't have parents. So she's 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 trying to explain this to people. No one's listening, going in one ear and out the other ear. And then she ends up getting one person to listen to her, which happens to be a, a cute boy. We don't know his name just yet. And she enlists his help to help her get home to her house where her parents are. But when they arrive to her house, there is crime scene tape all around her house. And she is trying to figure out what's going on. When she sees a car, she starts to pass by with her parents in it. And she tries to run to them and to flag them out down to let them know, like, hey, mom, dad, here I am. It's Echo. She was standing in the middle street when the car was coming. And then the car goes right through her. So by now, you can tell it's not her parents who are dead, but it is her. So long story short, she's a ghost. And the orphanage that she's in is a bunch of ghost kids that are trying to cling on to the living instead of just moving on. They're trying to get their old lives back instead of just moving on and passing on and be peaceful souls. That is why she is in the middle house. I can't wait to read this. I think this sounds so amazing. I get to read some paranormal some paranormal crap, y'all. Like I, I hope that it is like scary though and creepy. Because I don't know. I'm feeling like being scared. So um, I don't think this is going to be knocking out of my South Gary, but it's going to be like some creepy shit going on. Yes, I think that is definitely what's going to be happening. So, I'm going to start this book today, and I hope I love it because I think I'm going to love it. I, I think I'm going to love it. I think it's going to be pretty good. And I also love how the um, the chapters start off with this, like, bleeding, dripping heart. So, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. The second book that I'm going to read after I'm done reading Bad Girl Gone because I, I'm trying to not start reading a whole bunch of books together like I did before which is kind of why it took me so long to finish and I darkened because I really like I'm starting reading a bunch of books at the same time so I'm trying to slow my roll with that but after I'm done reading Bad Girl Gone the next book I'm going to pick up is Adjusted, a Justified Bitch by H.G. McKinnis and this book sounded very interesting. This is also a book I got from Ned Galley, but I also got this book from the publisher slash author because I don't know who's in it. This is my first book that I've gotten a physical copy of, like a physical or from the publisher company. So I'm like really booked up that I got this. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna read this copy. So basically we found this lady, Helen Taylor. She is a hoarder, a massive hoarder. And um, her husband has been dead. Her husband Bobby has been dead for years, but she still feels that he is alive. Like she knows he's dead, but she feels like he is still there with her and he's alive and kicking. So yeah, the bitch is like not only and she has cats, so she's a cat lady. Not only is she a cat lady, she's a hoarder and she's crazy. So put all that in the bag and see what you get. Put all that in your magic hat and see what you pull out. The big problem comes when she finds a severed finger on her doorstep and homicide detectives come looking at her as a, uh, as a prime murder suspect since she has a fucking finger on her. She has a finger on her doorstep. She's a hoarder. She's crazy and she's a cat. So her family's concerned. They come down and try to help her but then a second murder victor is found and that puts Helen deeper under the radar for the detectives as a suspect. So basically we are following Helen through this <laughs> this wormhole that she has put herself through being a murder suspect. I don't know who would want to frame her but yeah. Um, I think the family, the I think the the family member that comes to try to help her figure it out is her her sister, 
I want to say it's her sister. I really believe it's her sister. Give me a second. Um, I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that the the family member that comes to help her is her sister and her two her two sons. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, comes to help. And this is going to be a really good murder mystery. Like I'm, I'm psyched up about this one, murder mystery. I haven't I haven't read a murder mystery in a while. It's been a little minute since I read a murder mystery, so I'm kind of bugged up to read me a murder mystery. And this seems like it's going to be good as hell because I've never read a book about a hoarder. So yeah, this is going to be a crazy hoarder cat lady. Yeah, that's our main character. So this is going to be the bomb. Y'all can't wait to read it like y'all know what I think about it. So yeah, those are my current reading concoctions. Thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.